Kahalayim Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Raka Kodash Barakate Yahweh Barakate Yahweh Shah Barakate Yahweh Barakate Yahweh Shah Barakate Yahweh Barakate Yahweh Shah Kahalayim Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Raka Kodash Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone on down who rule well and taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing this truth from faith and sincerity and laboring and ministering to the saints with, with the whole heart. Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah, by Shem, Raka, Kodash, Raka, Thumb. That's how you sincere listeners who may hear this, okay? And uh, I just want to go in uh, about uh, the furnace of adversity and chastisement, okay? Because cause we are uh, commanded by the Heavenly Father to uh, go, go through uh, adversities and, and, and afflictions, okay, to be renewed and uh, be cleansed of our filthiness, okay, and, and to be made holy and, and acceptable uh, for the remarriage unto the Heavenly Father, okay. And I want to uh, start off with this uh, this this uh, particular scripture right here. I'm gonna go to Proverbs. Chapter 19, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 18. It says, Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. Okay, so so the Heavenly Father says, Chasten thy son while there is hope. Okay, and, and there's hope right now for us, man. All right, there's hope that we can be uh, renewed. From from our uh, our, um, our our wicked flesh be re, be renewed from our way uh, from, from from the path of unrighteousness that we can be renewed but, uh, and be redeemed okay and bought back our and, and be those uh, peculiar people and holy people that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set us up to be okay there, there is hope that we can be a part of the election okay that we can be chosen by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai okay so that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is chastising us right now. Okay, so so we can be uh, cleansed, all right, and uh, and, and be brought back uh, unto the heavenly Father. Okay, so that's why we have to go through chastisement, all right, because because uh, the heavenly Father is not going to spare for for our crying, man. All right, we we have to go through this, man. You all right? So so we can be built up because this is for our benefit. Are right? you how about Shimei Osha is not getting? Uh, he, he's not being benefited by you. Uh, suffering this chastisement, okay. He don't want to just chastise you, but he, I mean, well, he, he, it says he, uh, well, I'm gonna get that scripture also, all right, because you how about she meow shy does, uh, uh, ple is pleased within chastising this, but he, he doesn't do it for his own benefit, okay. He's doing it for our benefit, all right. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 3. Well, I start at 2. All right, this is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame is, in, is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. Yeah, so uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai despised the shame. He didn't want to get on that cross and be chastised, okay, and, and, and be uh, shamed. Okay, but he did it. Why? Because he understood that he had to be chastised and uh by, by the heavenly father to be renewed. Okay. It says, verse 3: For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest they be wearied and faint in your minds. And we cannot be weary and faint in our minds, man. Alright, and let me get that. Let me get that. Okay. Cause we, we gotta be uh, strong, man. We can't get weary, man. Tired, weak, you know, feeble. All right. We have to uh, endure the chastisement, all right, regardless of what it is, man. All right, because uh, y'all about see me out. That's not gonna give us more than we can handle. Okay. This is Galatians chapter six, verse nine. And let us not be weary in well doing. So we're not supposed to be weary in well doing, man. All right, we we supposed to uh take take glad of uh, the sufferings and the spoiling of our goods, man. Are right, we supposed to take uh with the gladness and joy, okay, being being able to suffer chastisement for Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, okay? It says, and let us not be weary in well doing, 
For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So in, in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Okay? So so we can't be getting weak and, and, and falling out and getting faint and weary because of, uh, we have to go through chastisement. All right? This this all a part of this walk. All right? This all a part of uh, of serving Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Okay? Back in uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 4. Ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Yes, and nor faint when thou art rebuked of him, man. All right, because Yahweh Shem Yahushai has, uh, has, uh, is only uh, chastising his children, man. All right, let me get that. Because we are his children, that's why we are being chastised. Okay, you you ain't gonna uh, if 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 your child is is doing something with uh, some other children, okay, and and, uh, and all of them uh, get in trouble, okay, I mean, or all of them do, are doing something wrong, are right, worthy of correction, okay, you are gonna let they, their parents correct them. You're not gonna correct they. The, uh, the the other uh, children also you gonna correct your child all right because they wasn't supposed to be doing what was wrong okay it, it, the other children hey that's not your that's not your kids all right so why are you gonna chastise them you gonna chastise your child okay you gonna correct your child and that's and we're the children of the Most High we're the children of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai so he's correcting us all right because because we are are doing wrong he don't give a damn about what the heathens do okay he didn't make us to be like no heathen nation all right so that's why. How about Shem Yahushua's chastising us? All right, because we are the children of the Most High. We're his children, okay? He's bought us, okay? Let me get this, okay? This is to prove that we are the children of the Most High. All right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 1. Therefore, thou shalt love the Lord, thy power, Yahweh, and keep his charge and his statutes and his judgments and his commandments always and know ye this day for i speak not with your children which i have not known yet so some children that he do not know just like if, if, if your uh child dealing with some other children okay and they all doing something worthy of correction okay you you don't know them damn kids you're not gonna you're not you're not gonna be no parent to them you're not gonna whoop their ass like you're gonna whoop your child ass all right you you're gonna whoop your child ass you're gonna punish your child okay and, 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 and you you don't know them other children, so why, why would you punish and and, and uh and, and uh whoop your, them them children? Them not your kids, man. All right. So so uh, yeah. How about Shem Yahushai doesn't know these heathen nations, man? All right. He know you. You his child. Okay. So you have to go through the chastisement. Why? Because your yeah. How about Shem Yahushai raised us better than that, man. All right. And that's why I might make the title of this, man. That's the spirit. Okay. It says, and know ye this day, for I speak not with your children, which have not known and which have not seen the chastisement of the Lord, your power. Yeah, your power. Yeah, so so these other nations have not seen or known the chastisement of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. They, 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 why? Because they wasn't given the law, statutes, and commandments. You was given law, statutes, and commandments on how you're supposed to be conducting yourself. Just like if you got a child, you're going to give them a... Uh, Laws, statutes, and commandments on how they need to conduct themselves when they out and about in the world, uh, delegating their tasks and going by uh, in their uh, daily endeavors. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna give them a, a, a way for them to be conducting ourselves. Okay, they, they self. Okay, and, and that's uh, what you have by Shem Yahushua is giving us. He's giving us a way that we're supposed to be conducting ourselves, man. All right, and we have not been conducting ourselves in the way that he has he has commanded us to. So therefore, we have to go through chastisement to be brought back unto him. Okay, we have to uh, get back right with him. Just like if your parents put you on on punishment, you got to serve out that punishment, uh, that that time of punishment before you can go back to doing your daily activities or, or things that you enjoy. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter eleven verse two, and know ye this day, for I speak not with your children, which I have not known, and which have not seen the chastisement of the Lord Yahweh, his greatness, his mighty hand, and his stretched out arm. So, so yeah, Yahweh Shem Yahushai is is dealing with his children, man. He's chastising his children. Okay, I just wanted to get that point. Okay, 
It's back in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. For whom the Lord, Yahweh Shai loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. So who whom Yahweh Shai loveth, he chastiseth. Okay? So if you're not getting chastised, if you're not getting punished, or if you're not getting corrected, if you're not getting rebuked, okay? If you're not suffering for Yahweh Shai he ain't got no love for you, man. All right? <laughs> And that's the and that's the same. Just like if you 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 see a children man, he, a child acting up, that's not your child, okay? You you ain't gonna uh, try to punish him or or, or 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 whoop his ass, man. That ain't your damn child, man. All right. So because you you don't love him, that why? Because you didn't bear that child, man. All right. Is uh Revelations chapter three, verse nineteen. It says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Yeah, so as many as, as, as Yahweh Bashim Yahushai loves, he rebukes and chastens. All right, when you go into that word chastening, it goes into punishment. All right, scolding, being scolded, okay? Uh, being, being, uh, being, being rebuked, being reproved, okay? And, and that's what we're going through with, with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We're being uh, corrected, man. All right, we're being scolded. We're being punished, Okay? But, but better now to be chastised and punished than than uh in in, in uh in the day of evil, okay? Which 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 is gonna be the great day of evil, the great day of wrath, okay? Verse uh nineteen, it says. Ooh, let me just start up. One. I'm gonna just read up one more. Okay, this is Revelation chapter three, verse eighteen. It says. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that thy, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Yes, yeah, so. Yeah, how about Shem Yasha is bringing us through that furnace of adversity, okay? So, so we can be uh, uh, anointed and made uh, pure again, man. All right, to be cleansed, all right, to to, to be made uh, perfect, all right. So, so we can uh, and, and, uh, we're we're getting our oils prepared to be uh, for for the remarriage unto Yah by Shem Yasha, okay? And uh, that's that's why we have to go through the furnace of adversity, okay? Let me go back to this in Hebrews. I got a little bit more on that. Okay. Then let me go into uh, Sirach. Let me go into the uh, Ferns of Adversity. Okay. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 7. Well, I start back at 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endureth, endure chastening, Yahweh dealeth with you as sons. For what son is he whom the father chastened him not? Yes, yeah, so you're not a son of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh if you're not getting chastised, man. All right? It, the, the, son, the sons of the heavenly father, the, 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 the sons of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh they get chastised. All right? Look look to uh, our Lord uh, Yahweh Shah uh, for, for prime example, okay? Prime example was, was our Lord Yahweh Shah. Let me get that. All right? Because I said I was going to pull it. It's the spirit. Let me just go to it now. Okay. This is uh Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10. It says, Get it pleased the Lord, Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. Salaki. Yet it pleased the Lord, Yahweh, to bruise him. I'm talking about our Lord, Yahweh Shai. He have put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days in the pleasure of the Lord. Yahabashim Yahushai shall prosper in his hand. All right. So it, 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 uh, it, it, it pleased uh, Yahweh to, uh, to uh, bruise his only begotten son, Yahushai, all right, for our sake. All right. And through uh, him uh, bruising. Uh, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, th through through him, we we are uh getting chastised and, and we're uh being uh it's pleasing Yahweh to bruise us also. All right. So so we can be uh 
made uh, their pleasant uh, their pleasant offering unto Yahweh again. Just like Yahweh Shah made their pleasant offering for the sins uh, of the uh, nation of Israel, okay, through his chastisement and him being bruised, okay. This is back in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 8. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Yeah, so if you 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 a bastard, man. Or if you're not getting chastised, man. Or if you're not uh, suffering punishment and, and suffering for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh then you're not, you're not a son of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay? Verse 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which have correct, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? Yeah, because you, your, your, your daddy, okay, he might have uh, chastised you when you was young, man. I right, told you to do this and that. All right, you know, uh, he was on your ass, man. All right, and, and you got older and you gave him reference, man. Man, pops, man, if you want to know my ass like that, man, I'd be a, a, a weak ass nigga, man. Okay, but he did that for his own benefit so he can get the glory, man. All right, Yahweh, Yahweh, uh, by Shem Yahweh, he already uh, deserves the glory, man. All right, he already got the glory. All right, so, so what? Yahweh doesn't need your approval, man. All right. He he you he's doing this for you, man. All right, this this so you can receive eternal salvation, man. All right, it's eternal life and receive salvation. Okay, this is so you can be brought back unto Him. This is for your own good, man. All right, Yahweh is the Father of spirits. Yahweh created your spirit, man. All right, you and your Father. So you, you so are you not gonna give Him reverence? All right, for for Him uh putting you through that chastisement, but you'll give your uh your, your Father of the flesh reverence. For, for chastising you for vain things Okay That don't make no sense Alright Verse 10 For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure But he for our profit That we might be partakers of his holiness Yeah for our profit man Alright what, what is your about Shem Yahushua Profiting by uh, getting an unprofitable servant man Okay he, He's not profiting nothing man This is so you can be made profitable uh, for uh, th this is so you. Th this is for, for you to get profit, man. All right, and this is for your profits, man. All right, and what's your profit gonna be? The kingdom of heaven. All right, immortality. Okay. It says, for they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. Yeah, that we might be partakers of his holiness, man. All right, that we can be uh, brought back to those holy people that we're supposed to be. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, 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 but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them that are exercised thereby. Yeah, so it, it ain't fun catching hell, okay? <laughs> it, it ain't just... Uh, it ain't just uh you you ain't just gonna be oh man this is this is fun man oh thank you lord for you know what i'm saying yeah we we supposed to uh do uh we sp do suppose it, it speak about it uh serac about uh being happy that the lord is chastising us okay but you you when it's happening when you get chastised you ain't just gonna be in the greatest mood man all right <laughs> but but but, but through the spirit, you know that this chastisement that you're going through is 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 for your own good, man. All right, and, and then and, and then lets you know that Yahweh by Shem is dealing with you. He considers you as a son. You're not a bastard child. Okay. It says, "Wherefore lift up the feeble the Salakia. Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees. Yeah, be not weary and well doing, man." All right, because we're going to be rewarded for this, man. All right. We're, we're, we're already being rewarded because we're being renewed day by day. We're being cleansed from the evil day. I mean, from, from our evilness, from our wickedness, man. All right. We're being cleansed and being renewed day by day. Okay. Let me get this. This is uh, Sarek. Chapter 2. 
Verse 1, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh Yahushai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah, and that word temptation means to be tested. Okay, so if you come to serve Yahweh Yahushai, if you call yourself a servant of Yahweh Yahushai, prepare to be tested. Okay, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Yeah, set thy heart aright. All right, set your mind right, man. Get, get your mind right, man. All right. And constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Yeah, be not wary and well doing, man. All right. So, so when you get chastised, man, realize uh, when you get chastised or right, when you catch in hell, okay, uh, realize that this is coming from the Lord. This, this, these are tests from the Lord to, to uh, test your integrity and your character, man. All right, to to build you up ultimately, okay, to 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 uh to clean your garment, okay, the furnace of adversity. Verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Yeah, the peaceable fruit of righteousness, man. Okay. Verse 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Yeah, take cheerfully, man. Why? Because you're a son of the heavenly father. You're not a bastard child, man. Okay. It says, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower saint. Yeah, because uh, the, the, the meek and the lowly uh, shall inherit the earth, man. Right, so so be patient when thou change to a low estate, okay? Because uh the, the sufferings of these present time cannot uh compare to the glory that should be revealed in us, man. Alright, so so we we we'll take the uh low right now, okay? To to uh to be put on high by the heavenly father, okay? When 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 the time is it, it, when when it's our time to uh, receive it, okay? And and, and you gotta uh, wait upon the Lord for that, man. Okay. Verse five. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable with man in the furnace of adversity. Yeah, you put the gold through the fire to uh purge the uh the gold of all the uh dross and, and, and dirt and, and uh refine it. Okay, and that's uh and, and, and uh we are put through a uh, fire which is hell, the state of condition that we are in, okay, different uh chastisements and punishments, okay, to uh to, to refine us and, and cleanse us of all the uh, and purge us of all the iniquity and the dross that has come uh, from uh, us being in this wicked flesh, man. All right, and, and, uh, and, 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 and being sinful, okay. Verse six: Believe in Him and He will help thee. Order the way thy way aright and trust in Him. Yea, that fear the Lord, wait for His mercy and get and go not aside. Let's they fall, okay? So so go not aside from taking the chastisement of the Lord. Let's they let you gonna fall. Let you fall off, man. All right. And we ain't trying to fall off, man. All right. We ain't trying to fall out this truth, man. All right. So we're gonna endure this this chastisement and, and to the uh, very end. All right. The the uh those who endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Okay. And endure what? What are you enduring? The chastisement. Okay. Even unto death. All right, this is Proverbs chapter three, verse eleven. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Yahabashim Yahushai, neither be wary of his correction. Verse twelve. For whom the Lord Yahabashim Yahushai loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son, in whom he delighteth. Yeah. So, so if, if Yahabashim Yahushai love you, okay, he gonna chastise you, man. All right, so so don't get don't hey take it cheerfully, man. All right, just take it on the chin, man. All right, just 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 uh, gird up thy loins like a man. Okay, strengthen the uh, the weak hands and the feeble knees. Okay, serve the Lord. Okay, just do it. All right, let me get this in Malachi, man. Okay, let me get this in Malachi. All right, because you got wicked ass niggas all right, who don't want to uh, take the chastisement of the Lord. That's why they don't want to uh, serve the Lord, man. All right, because uh, when you come in this truth, you, you got to catch hell on all levels, man. All right, or they might have came into this truth and, and, and seen the hell that, uh, that you were faced with. And they, they, they fell off. All right, they fell out. Okay, this is Malachi chapter 3, verse 13. Your words have been stout against me, said the Lord Yahabashim Yahushua. Yet ye say, What have we spoken so much against thee? Ye have said, 
It is vain to serve Yahweh. And that's what you niggas say, man. All right. Why? Because uh, when, when you serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, ain't no peaches and cream, man. All right. It ain't, uh, it ain't no picnics and, and, and uh, happy meals, man. All right. When you serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, it's, 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 it's pain and suffering, man. All right. So, so you niggas, you you niggas is, is uh, weak and weary and well doing, all right. And, and you 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 can't uh, take that, man. All right. Why? Because you niggas wasn't built for this, man. All right. They have said it is vain to serve Yahweh, and what profit is it that we have kept His ordinance, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of the hosts, <laughs> Lord of hosts, Yahweh by Shimon Shai. See you, see you, this, you niggas, man. All right. You, you niggas, man. You, you niggas don't uh, see no profit in serving your how about she man? What's up, man? All right. You, you don't see no uh, profit. Well, you, you don't, you don't feel like uh, being chastised of the Lord is, is going to benefit you, man. All right. But it, it, it's not benefiting the Heavenly Father to chastise you niggas, man. All right. You, you, you niggas. Hey, man. Really ain't none of us worthy of, uh, 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 of salvation, man. All right, yeah. How about see me out? Shut said he'll, he'll raise up stones to prophesize, man. All right, yeah. How about see me out? don't need us, man. All right, so so you need to uh, that you need this for your profit, man. All right, yeah. How yeah, how we're not profiting nothing by you, niggas, man. All right, it's wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 5. It says, and having been a little chastised. They shall be greatly rewarded for Yahweh proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Yeah, we, we are that burnt offering to the Lord, man. All right, we're that pleasant, savory smell to Yahweh by Shem All right, by, by being brought through, through the furnace of adversity, man. All right, by going through the chastisement of the Lord, okay? And, and, and thereby are, are we made... Uh, holy unto the heavenly father again man all right that's 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 the prophet man all right to, to uh be right with our power to be cleansed okay that's the prophet that that you have by serving the lord man all right and the heavenly father he he has given us tools to uh take the chastisement too all right this also uh also he has given he's not gonna give no man uh uh salaki he's not giving no man uh, more than he can handle, okay. More, more, uh, than he can, uh, Salakia brothers. More, more than he, uh, that he can handle by the measure of his faith, okay. So let me go here, okay. Give me a second. Let me get this. Okay, let me get this in Jeremiah. Okay, this is Jeremiah, chapter ten. And Lord willing through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai by Shem Rukhakadosh. This elephant edifying for you brothers, okay? This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 24. It says, O Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, correct me, but with judgment, not in thy anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Yeah, so, <laughs> hey, uh, correct me with your, uh, with, with, um, with, with your judgment, Heavenly Father. All right. And, and the judge judgment that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua has purposed on us to uh to to uh come back to him and be corrected through him is, is going through the furnace of adversity. All right, being chastised, okay? Being punished. All right, this is our punishment. All right. You don't want to get caught up in the anger of the Heavenly Father or the wrath of the Heavenly Father. All right, and, and the great day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's wrath is coming, who should be able to stand, okay? You you ain't gonna be able to stand against you by seeing me outside Ralph, so you you might as well take the chastisement, man. What what choice do you got? Okay? Cause cause if you how about seeing me outside bring Ralph on your ass, you you going down to the uh, to the pit, okay? You you ain't you ain't uh you ain't gonna uh receive eternal life. Yeah, how about seeing me outside gonna destroy you? Alright. So you might as well take the uh the the, the uh judgment. That the heaven follow his purpose for you, man. All right, let, let's let's see bring wrath upon your ass. All right, and then you be brought to nothing. Okay, so so which how you want to have it? Okay, this is Proverbs chapter twenty three, verse 
13. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Yeah, that's that rod of correction, man. All right, let me get this. This uh, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 15. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it from, far from him. Yeah, so so we're not going to die. Yeah, how, if you get your ass whooped, you, I'm sure uh, most brothers, man, are, when they was coming up, they done got ass whoopings, man. All right, you didn't die from that ass whooping, man. All right. You 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 probably learned uh man look I ain't gonna you probably got a lot of ass whoopers but the ass whoopers probably did you right man all right and uh you 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 didn't die okay so yeah how about seeing y'all shot correcting us and rebuking us and chastising ain't ain't gonna kill us man all right it's, it's gonna give us life is which which if, if if your parents whip your ass okay they 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 gave you life okay they let you know when when you grow grow up look man I ain't gonna be uh. I got my ass whooped. I got my ass whooped by my parents. Okay. Uh, now when I go out here and, and do something, I know. Look, you might think back on that ass whooping. Like, look, I better not do this, man. All right, because I'm gonna get an ass whooping. All right. And that's that. That's you. How about see me He's 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 whooping our ass so we can get our mind right, man. All right. So so we can know what not to do. Okay. And, and that's uh that's that's uh not to get caught up in his anger, man. <laughs> All right, in his wrath, all right, the fear of the Lord, okay? This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is, it's like I started 15, all right, this is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. And that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yes, yeah, so these these scriptures, all right, uh, is 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 our uh, tool, uh, is is our uh, is is our instruction on how we are supposed to be conducting ourselves so we can uh not receive uh, of the ultimate judgment, man. All right. So you can know what what is not to to uh so so you can know what it takes to not receive of uh, uh, the wrath and the anger of the heavenly Father, okay? And in these scriptures, it, it clearly details that you have to uh, go through uh, a process of being chastised and, and, and uh, going through the front and, and adversity and affliction, okay? So so you can uh, be made perfect unto Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay? So so. These scriptures is what we look to constantly to know, uh, to walk that straight line, okay, and, and be made cleansed, okay. This this is our comfort right here, okay. And let me get that, all right. This this is what uh Yahweh Bashim is 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 left us to comfort us with, man, all right. Cause he ain't just gonna whoop our ass and then he not gonna give us no uh no no way to uh. You know, uh, soak our wounds up, or uh, you know, uh, get back up, man. All right. Well, he's not just gonna whoop our ass for no reason, man. Or he ain't just gonna. He, he's doing this for our own good, okay? This, this, and he's left us uh with with uh something to comfort us through through these ass whoopings, man. All right. This is uh. This is uh John chapter fourteen verse twenty six. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit of Rukakadash, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Yes, yeah, so uh, our uh, uh, the Most High Yahweh has has given us our Lord Yahweh uh, Shai, through. Which is which is our Lord Yahweh Shai is this word. All right, he says, Behold, I come in the volume of the book. All right, which is the Holy Spirit, the chief cornerstone behind the house of David. Okay, and, and, and the Holy Spirit, all right, uh, the, the chief cornerstone to the house of David. He, 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 that, that word is, is what keeps us cleansed. Okay, and, and keeps us, uh, is our pretty much our band aid. Okay. In, in in our uh our Epsom salt, okay, from from this ass whooping, okay, 
and, and from all the uh uh the being cleansed from this filthiness man all right and i'm gonna get this right here and i'm gonna wrap it up okay this is isaiah chapter 40 verse isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Yeah, so we those who wait upon the Lord, they're they're gonna uh renew their strength, man. All right, and, and they're not gonna uh be weary or faint, man. All right. So so us waiting upon the Lord, all right, us taking the chastisement of the Lord, okay. And, and waiting on him to uh to 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 uh to build us back up all right every time he uh chastises us it's gonna build us up all right that's that's why we we're actually profiting now because we're growing more in the wisdom knowledge and understand all right we're, we're knowing uh more and more what it takes and requires to, to serve the heavenly father okay we're, we're becoming stronger in the spirit okay we're we're uh being accepting of whatever we must be faced with uh to, to uh in our lot with uh serving how about she now chef okay we're, we're receiving the eye salve to see everything clearly okay so through the spirit and power of you how about she now uh i pray this was edifying i want to give all praises to yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim raka kodash double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone peace and salutations to the house of david the elect man pushing the truth Pushing his truth from faith and sincerity. Shalom to the elect.